So that, that next generation of smart, powerful women, they're already knocking on the door. They're coming, and we need to get ready. You know, last month I got a chance to meet the winners of the Google Science Fair. This is an international competition uh, of, of high school students. The cutting edge of technology and science. All three of the winners turned out to be Americans. All three were girls. They had... They had beat out 10,000 other applicants from more than 90 countries. So I had them in the Oval Office. And they explained their projects to me. And I pretended that I understood what they were talking about. There's a picture of this conversation hanging up in the West Wing right now. And they're, I'm, I've got a puzzled look on my face. And they're being very patient. So one of the winners, uh, Shri Bose discovered a promising new way to improve treatment for ovarian cancer at the age of 17. Then I asked another winner, uh, Lauren Hodge, if she had skipped a grade in school. She was quite uh, petite. Uh, and she informed me very politely that she had actually skipped two. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's people like Shri and Lauren, all of you who are here tonight, who make me hopeful about the future. There's a direct line between those women who sat in those jail cells and those young girls explaining their science project in the Oval Office. 